as we were talking about the plant watering globes. What we did was we basically improved not only the quality of the actual product um, by ensuring it doesn't arrive broken, I guess that, that you can say that, uh, but we also really focused on the quality of the customer service that we provided, right? So that was really a quality customer service in terms of ensuring that the product doesn't get there broken. And if it, di if it did, uh, we used to sometimes put a spare one in there just in case, um, and that used to make them really happy. Um, but we, we focused on what the actual product or the customer wanted. Right, so what did they actually want? And we listened to them. Again, we got a lot of the information from the reviews. We went on to different websites and had a read and, and had a look and really tried to understand who's buying our product. Um, another thing also about people buying your product is you'll never really, really know who is your customer avatar until you start selling products, right? So you can only really guess Right, so initially you might say, okay, my the, the the demographic that I want to target is let's say over 70 gardening, and that is your demographic. There's no doubt. But when it comes to starting to think about who's actually buying your product, you might still th think that that age range is still buying your product. But you might be surprised that maybe the grandkids are buying this product as a gift. Right, so. That's something that we realized with our kids' toilet seat. We thought the majority of people buying it were actually mothers. Little did we know that 40% of the people that bought our kids' toilet seat were actually men. And then we had another 15% who bought our seat were grandparents, right? now buying it for their nieces and nephews and grandkids, I should say, um, right? So that is also an important aspect. And when you start selling your product and you start reading your own reviews, you're going to notice who's actually buying it and then you can start to communicate with them. All right, so that's also an important thing. So brand story. So if you go, if you were to go to on our website, we always have our brand story. I think we do have it in the Amazon listing also. So this is our website, all right? And so you got all the kids there, but we have our brand story here. It's quite, um, it's just quite small brand story, but we basically mention exactly why we created this particular type of product, right? And then we have also another website or another brand that we're selling also at the moment. Uh, we're not selling it, but we're, we, we build, we're building it. So this is our brand also, Sarah Jane Collection. I built this with Sarah. Um, and now I took, uh, a year ago, I took it over because she couldn't do it anymore due to her health, unfortunately. And I built this with her in 2019. We built it up to $800,000, $770,000 business. And then a year ago, when Sarah mentioned that she couldn't do it anymore because of her health, I decided to jump in, take over the business. I kept her in the company and now we're building this out, right? And so we, we have our story here. So having, and she's always had her brand story in there, right? Which is awesome. So having your brand story is probably one of the biggest things that you can do on Amazon also. When you go to Amazon and you look at products, right? You're not gonna find a brand story in any of these, right? No one is going to actually mention why they started selling the plant globes and they were passionate about it or anything like that, right? And we didn't even do it at that time, right? When we could have. But I think it's very, very important to actually do that. And I seem to be having some issues with amazon.com lately, I've noticed. Um, but yeah, so writing your brand story is a very, very important part of, um, of actually you know, being able to differentiate yourself again. Let people know why you're doing what you're doing. When you solve a problem, speak about it, right? If you say that I created these seeds because there was no other design like them, let people know you did that. Right, people want to ensure, especially on a marketplace like Amazon, that they're actually buying from another person. Right, so a lot of people don't like buying from Amazon because they think it's only Amazon selling the products. Right, and it happens all the time. It happened in Australia for a long time. A lot of people thought, stay away from Amazon, don't support Amazon. What they're really saying is, don't support the small businesses on Amazon. But they didn't know that. Right, they did not know that all people that sell on Amazon are actually small businesses. Right, so they're the majority of them selling it. So you should be supporting the small businesses, but how do you know they're a small business? Well, a lot of people don't know to check your brand name. Just tell your story on the actual product listing, right? It's important. Amazon realized how important, important it is that only in the last year, they actually added a section into your listing where you can add your brand story, right? It's a crucial, crucial part.